welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And today I have a special surprise guest. It's my granddaughter, Tima. Hi, Hi Tima. Hi, guys. So Tima and I went thrifting together because that's what we love doing. And we put some things in the cart. Did you have a fun time that day? Yeah. Yeah, we love looking for treasure. And today we have a whole video that we're going to show you. So we're gonna take turns showing what we found and tell you a little bit about the items, what we paid for them, and maybe what we can expect um, to sell them for. So Tima, is there anything on the table that you would like to start with and talk about? Um, so these are little turtles that were carved um, hand card, and they have their person's initials on the bottom. It says E W K um, at the bottom of one of the turtles. Super cute. I love those. Yeah. And what country do we think these were made in? Maybe. Do you have any guesses? Like, like either the USA. In the USA? Any state in the USA? Like what part of the Florida? Florida. Probably Florida. That's a really good guess. Yeah. Yeah. We love those, right? <laughs> and we paid a dollar ninety-seven for them. And what do you think we might sell those for if we did sell them? Um, I think maybe like five or ten dollars. Okay, five or ten dollars. Mm -hmm. I love those. So cute. Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah, very fun, right? Very sweet. So somebody hand carved them. Great job. Okay. And what would you like to talk about next? Do you want to take another turn? I want to talk about this blue, dark blue mug. Um, it says the French Manor. The French Manor. Um, Huckleberry Road, South Sterling, Pennsylvania. It also has like this blue and white like on the top of it. That's kind of, it looks like it's dripping down. It's painted that way. And see how shiny it is? That's called the glaze. Yeah. And the way you said it's dripping down is exactly what it's called, a drip glaze. And it's very smooth and it has no cracks at the top. And it was made in the USA in 2018. Very good. Does it say the potter's house of, of what potter made it? Um, it just says, DeaningPottery.com. That's exactly who made it. Oh. Yeah, great job. Perfect. And what did we pay for this? $2.97. $2.97. And we can expect it to bring about the $12 to $15 mark. So great find. We love these mugs. Perfect. So we found these candlesticks. And I kind of liked the crazy print right away before we even looked at the bottom but they are marked on the bottom. So what does yours say on the bottom? $2.97. That's the price. They wanted $2.97 a piece. This was at Goodwill. And they give it to us for $3.97 because we bought both. And what does the printing say? Do you want to read yours? Hand painted exclusively for House of Hayton Inc. Very good. Peggy Fairfax That's Herrick. Right. Herrick, very good. And even though these are made in China, which we don't buy a lot of items made in China, Peggy Fairfax items, Peggy Fairfax Herrick, that's a hard one to say, uh, her items bring good money. So that's what the bottom looks like. And we're, whenever we're looking for information on, on an item, when you see an item on a shelf, where is the first place on an item that you're gonna look to find information about it? Probably at the bottom. On the bottom. So we turn it over. So anything that we get, the first thing we do is look at the bottom or the back of something. Mm -hmm. So we like these very much. And how much do you think we're gonna list these for in the eBay store? Maybe like, um, like, $35. Very good. $35, probably $35 to $40, exactly. So great find. We love these. They do have a lot of wax on them from the prior owner burning candles in them. So if anybody in the, um, in the house knows how to get wax off of candlesticks that are ceramic, please leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys. Okay. The next item that I'm going to pull up are these Atari glasses that we found. They're four glasses in a box. And these are Atari, and they were made in 2011, made in the United States. And let's pull out one of the glasses. So 
our viewers can see. Which one would you like to pick? Uh, you want this one. Okay, and I'm going to pick this one. And what does yours say? Mine says asteroids on it. Mm hmm. I love the painting. I love the graphic. Isn't it very cool? Yeah. This one is Centipede. So these are different Atari games. And the glasses look unused, which is great. And yeah, still in the original box. They are probably pint glasses. And we paid $3.97. So we did run comps on these quickly. Looks about the $40, $45 mark, but we'll have to check that again and see what they really sold for. I think that's what people were listing them for, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, we'll put those to the side. And now what, what do you think? So this is a Sackritz wallet and it is a dark blue black ground with flowers and birds on them. Um, it also has this little pink like ribbon on the side of it, exactly. outlining it. This is called a braided trim. Yep, mm -hmm. very good. And it has lots of pockets and stuff in the inside of it where you can put your ID and um, also like other cards. And then it has a little peace button right here. And it also has a little pocket right here on the back of it. And what do you think you would keep in this pocket? I think maybe like if you have something like gum or something like that. That's right. You could keep gum in there, stick a gum in there, or you could keep change, right? Just to have that outside mm -hmm. pocket. Perfect. So this is Sack Roots, S-A-K-R-O-O-T-S. If you're not familiar with that brand, you want to be. Uh, I often pick up their handbags and their wallets, and they move very quickly in and out of my store because it's so pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Great job. Great, great job. Did we say what we paid for it? Um, I think no. we paid $2.97 for this, and I'm guessing about the $25 mark for this wallet. So great find. Okay, and we have this gold mirror here, which I'm not sure if this is a reproduction or if it's an original. It's in the Art Deco style. It is uh, flowers on the back, very romantic style, with a young woman. And we love this. So I'm going to have to do research on whether this is a reproduction or original. And it has its original screws. Whenever you pick up an item like this, you want to look at the screws to see that they're the original screws. Because if you have like a metal bank or something like this and the screws have been replaced, that depreciates the value. So we said yes to this mirror. All right. So the next item I think is this grouping right here. Do you want to tell us what we have here? Um, here we have these Disney pictures, um, like this one, this is Aladdin. It's just a little poster that, it's in a little paper frame, and it was made in 1996. That's right, and this is called a lithograph, so Aladdin, our first lithograph. We actually got a group of these together, and uh, there's how many of them? About five of them, so the team is going to show the next one. Um, I'm going to show this one. This is Cinderella, and it's her getting turned into, like, really pretty by her fairy godmother. And this one was made in 1995. Beautiful. Okay, you want to show the next one? My favorite. The next one's my favorite. So this is Ariel. And this one is made in 1997. Right, and Ariel is one of the main mermaids in, what's the name of Disney's movie that uh, this came Little from? Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid, exactly. So they're exclusive commemorative lithographs. And I believe these were sold in the Disney store. And they're printed in the USA. And next up is which one? This one is Pocahontas. And this is made in 1995. Exactly. Perfect. And this one is Bambi. And, and you can show them the back. We're not sure of the age for Bambi, the year, because it's in the Lion King 2's folder. 
So I guess whoever donated this kept the Lion King and the Bambi folder, <laughs> but um, still adorable. And also with this grouping, we found this. It is a sheet of stamps, and this is Disney's um, Classic Fairy Tales in postage stamps, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and stamps were 30 cents. Do we see a date on this? Of what um, year? I don't see a date. Well, Does it have a date on the stamp? No. No. But, um, yeah, so collectible stamps. We'll have to comp these and see what these are worth. Sometimes stamps can bring really good money. I would imagine the Disney stamps were highly collected, so I'm not expecting this to be a high dollar amount, but um, very fun. We might save these. What do you think? Collect yeah. stamps? <laughs> okay, so those are all the folders. So I think that's all we're going to talk about for today. Thank you so much for watching. And please hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you to you for your guest appearance on my channel. <laughs> and as always, go out and get what's yours. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.